Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called GUI Shop. So instead of having sign shops and chess shops, this plugin makes it really easy for you because all it is is a virtual shop. So it's super easy for your players and really convenient for them too. All you need for this plugin is the plugin called Vault. Make sure you download that if you don't have it and download GUI Shop of course. So once you have those jars, just drag it in your plugins folder add any permissions you need from this plugin page and start up your server. After your server startup, go ahead and go in your plugins folder and inside your plugins folder you'll see a folder called GUI shop. Inside of this you'll see a config.yml. Okay, so right click on it and you see the option that says edit with notepad or notepad++. Click on that, but I highly recommend that you download notepad++. That'll be in the description and yeah, it just makes it really easy to edit things. So whether you have notepad++ or notepad, what you'll first see is the title. This is the title of the shop. So you can change it to whatever you want and you can also add color codes. There are two color codes already in here that add color to the words GY and shop. The color codes are on the screen so you can just edit the color codes or remove any if you want to. And You can also change the words that are there. So change it to whatever name you want and you can change the tag that appears next to a popped up message after a player buys something. But what really is important is the items in your shop. So the first thing you'll see is a number. This is the item ID. So this 17 item ID is for Oakwood. And on the next line is the quantity, the amount of oak logs or whatever item you're selling. So this is selling 64. You can change it to whatever number you want. And the next line is the name. You can change the name of the item that you want to sell. It doesn't have to be the actual name that it's called. You can change it to something silly or kind of fun or cool, whatever you want to do. And you can also add color codes or remove this one that's already here. So you can also change the price and the sell price. The sell price is the amount of money that a player will get if they sell it to the shop. And slot. You can change the slot number. This is the number that the item goes into. So the item will go into slot 0, which is the first slot. So it's the first little square that appears in the inventories and chest so that will be the slot that this one goes into okay and data data is the last thing that I'll talk about data for example if you click on the link in the description then you'll see like 5 is the item ID for wood planks but it also breaks down into different kinds of wood planks which happens to be the data IDs so the data ID 1 is for spruce then 2 is for birch 3 is for jungle and a lot of item IDs have data IDs too with them. So like for saplings, they have their data IDs also. So that's what that is for. If your item ID doesn't have a data ID with it, then you can just remove this line and it'll be like that. Okay, so once you have everything you like, go ahead and save and start up your server. Now head on to Minecraft. All right, once you're done with your shop to finally allow players to buy and sell from it, all you have to do is type the command slash shop this will open it up and it will have everything that you want in it so to buy you just click on what you want to buy it will be transferred and if you have something that you want to sell put it in your inventory and just click on it okay so that's how it works and it's a really cool plugin so if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up peace out guys and don't forget to subscribe